Hey guys, I have another Harry Potter cookie video for you. It'll probably be a bunch more in the future because I love the whole series. But anyway, this one is going to be a little different because although I will be telling you how I made this Patronus cookie using mixed mediums, I'm also going to show you guys the struggle and it was real. So hopefully you won't go through the same mistakes that I made. So let's get straight to it. I have this mold with a stag in it and I knew it would be perfect. And I also knew I wanted to use isomalt because I thought it would have this cool effect. Here's the mold and here's my isomalt. I like to use semi isomalt because it's really easy to use. I heated up my icing so that way I can add some color. I'm using Wedgwood because it has a blue hue to it without being super dark. At least to me it does. I use a toothpick to add the color to my isomalt because I didn't want to add too much color. Now I mix it. Once you stir in your color, you have to heat the isomol again because stirring it causes more bubbles and we don't want that. So here it is heated. It's such a pretty color. I'm waiting for the bubbles to rise and pop before I pour it. This helps you avoid bubbles or air pockets in your finished product. Now it's safe to pour. So I pour it in spots that I think will look nice blue. Now, why did I think the face will look nice blue when in the movies, in every pic I see of the face, it is not blue. But hey, let's see what happens. Now, I mix some white isomalt using the same steps as before. I was impatient and didn't want to wait for the last bubble to pop. So I just poured it in there. And yes, as I'm watching the video, I'm shaking my head at myself. But watch me pour it, y'all. So as I'm spreading this isomalt, I realized that it is not going to fit into the tiny spaces of this mold. So I thought to myself, forget it. I can always add the legs another way. That's where the mixed medium comes in. So I'm sitting here waiting for the isomalt to dry. And I'm thinking like, this is going to be so hot. Now I'm tapping it to see if it's dry. Never test it with your fingers because you could seriously burn yourself. And two, you can get fingerprints on your masterpiece. So now that it's dry, it's time to pop it out. I do this step slowly by stretching the mold and then letting the isomalt lift up a bit. Do not rush this process because it can break. And me, right now, I'm so hyped. Like, this is going to look great. This is so cool. And then when I turn it over, I see that I made a cow with antlers. Even my son was laughing at me. I can kind of laugh at it now, but in the moment, it was not funny. I had a few of those while making this cookie. So he suggested I melt all of the isomo together and allow it to become an icy blue color. So I did just that. And later, I added more white on top of it. That boy is so smart. Mwah. That's the only way I could kiss him because he won't allow me to do it in public. <laughs> So here you see me following his advice. I'm pouring the icy blue isomalt into the mold and then I follow it up with the white. I didn't make enough white so I had to make more. I didn't do this on camera so here you just see me mixing the white on top of the icy blue. I did the tap test again and popped it out. I was less hyped this time but look, it came out pretty. It did have some bubbles, so I pulled out my mini torch to smooth it out. Now I did lose some details because I held it over it a second too long. So make sure you don't do as I did. Hit it with some heat and then take it away quickly. It's time to attach our isomote stag to the cookie. This cookie was originally white, so I painted it black real quick before I started recording. That's why it's so shiny and you can see the brush strokes, but I think it adds a little bit of character. I put the stag on the cookie to see where I wanted it. Then I attached it. You can use more isomalt to do this, or you can use royal icing. Now that it's attached, I use thick consistency white icing to make the legs for the stag. Mixing mediums. I couldn't see how the legs looked because the camera was in the way. So I kept messing with them 
and messing with them and messing with them. Until they look like this. I'm shaking my head at myself. I was aggravated and ready to move on. So I did the back legs. Using the same icing, I created one straight leg and one curved leg. To do the curved leg, I just made a seven close to the body. And yes, I kept messing with these legs too. Now, a trick I like to do to make the icing blend with any other medium is to take some really thin icing and put a dot of it on my scribe. Then I use it to blend the icing smoothly to the other mediums. And yes, after all of that work, I scraped them front legs off again. This time I thought I had the legs down, but I used too much of that wet icing, so they spread. Yes, I'm super frustrated at this point. Again, I can laugh about it now, but in the moment, I was not happy. And in my head, I was like, this was supposed to be fun. What the fudge, Joe? <laughs> so I broke out my paintbrush to see if that would help, but it wasn't. So I used a toothpick because it is skinny like a scribe, but it is wider so it can pick up more. And that finally worked. Sheesh. But I'm still not done. I have some painting to do. I used bright white edible paint for this. I'm painting around the stag to create that glow effect that Patronuses have. I did more than one layer, but as I'm painting, I'm realizing that the black is soaking up the white, so I had to switch to my fractal white paint. Mixing the two whites together worked a lot better. It's starting to have that glow effect that I wanted. It's really coming together now. I was starting to get happy again. Then I painted on top of the stag. And as I'm painting on top of it, I'm looking at it like, oh no, I'm creating another cow. So I cleaned off my paintbrush and then I spread the white on top of it, making sure my brush wasn't too wet because if it's too wet, it will mess up the isomalt. Thank goodness it worked. From there, I added some more white around the stack to make the glow bigger. And I wanted some of the brush strokes to show on purpose. Of course, I had to add some edible glitter, and then it's finally done. And yes, I was slapping on the table as I said that. I'm not even going to tell y'all how long I spent on this one cookie, but I do like how it turned out. Before all of this, I was also going to make a cookie of my Patronus, a white mare. But nope, I'm not going through this again. If you're a part of head like us in this house, tell me in the comments what your Patronus is. And if you're not sure, you can take the test online. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.